KM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to HCAM News Live. I'm HCAM News Director Tom Nappy, here to tell you everything you need to know that's happening in Hopkinton. On today's special edition of HCAM News Live, we will relive some great happenings in Hopkinton from this past year. We start off with the Veterans Day services at the Hopkinton Town Common. Here's a look. Detail and hut and hand salute. We're going to begin this morning by first counting our blessings. Sometimes we forget to appreciate the good things God has bestowed, and we let our difficulties consume us. As we take time to honor our veterans today and we focus on the sacrifices they made on our behalf, let us all find peace and gratification in our own lives. We ask that God to help us pay homage to those veterans who seek only acceptance and let this day be a respite for all. Amen. In Flanders Fields, the Poppies Club. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place within the sky, larks still bravely singing fly, scarce herds in the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunsets glow. We loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from falling hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with those who die. We shall not sleep as poppies grow in Flanders fields. Thank you. As Mr. Whalen mentioned, I recently completed the work portion of my Eagle Scout project. I learned there was a need that would not only benefit our veterans, but also our community. I wanted to clean the Veterans Memorial, which is located behind me and to my left, and beautify the area surrounding the town common so that people can more easily read and remember those who served in the wars which, for which commemorates the memorial. The far left panel on the memorial remembers those who served in the conflicts in Afghanistan, Lebanon, Panama, Kosovo, and Haiti. The large middle panel remembers those who served in Vietnam, World War II, in the Korean conflict. The right panel remembers those who served in the Persian Gulf, Grenada, Bosnia, Somalia, and Iraq. I hope you can enjoy a moment today or on your next walk and remember those who served in these wars. You know, last month when Mike asked me to speak today, I was truly humbled, I was truly honored. But I asked myself, why me? I never served in the military, but I knew one thing, and that is I knew I would be here today. As I started thinking about what I might say today, the thing that kept coming to mind was thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your dedication. And thank you for your commitment to our great nation. Since I was a small child, I've always been impressed that someone was willing to leave their home leave their community, their friends, their family, in order to serve our great nation. The courage that it takes is enormous. Yesterday, I was attending a virtual summit, and Robert O'Neill, who retired from SEAL Team 6 and is professed to have killed Osama bin Laden, was speaking. He said something, and some even, and many even, the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, today serves as a reminder to be thankful. 
that we need this occasion because it is only natural during our busy lives to be more focused on our daily routines than the world we live in. As the existence of our good fortune is not often questioned or contemplated. More specifically, today is a reminder of our, of our obligation to veterans, our obligation to fulfill promises made by our forefathers, promises to honor and take care of our veterans, and if needed, their surviving families. For so many generations, Military veterans have been an important part of the Hopkinton community. Whether by design or circumstance, they have served and contributed not only as outspoken leaders, but also as quiet, compassionate, hardworking men and women passing on their traditional American values. Despite the pandemic, the Hopkinton Center for the Arts found a way to have their annual gala, and a good time was had by all. Here's a look at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts virtual Art Lights Tonight gala. The Hopkinton Center for the Arts hosted their annual gala fundraiser. This year's theme was Art Lights Tonight. The gala looked a bit different since it was through Zoom, but a good time was had by all. Multiple students, entertainers, and individuals talked about the impact the HCA has had on their lives and shared some of their work. over Zoom and Eric Balboni, uh, myself and Jerry Shea were able to write a show entitled Together in the Arts for our high school and collegiate students. We provided acting opportunities, ability to work on monologue, uh, audition songs, scene work as well, and we were able to offer self-taping skills which right now are you know the most important skills that an actor can have as, as some of these Students are getting ready for college auditions or something. submitting materials for agents. For Together in the Arts, they were able to write their own monologues. Eric assigned them a song and we married those two things to create our performance. I think what was the most important to me was you could see that these students needed an outlet. Uh, these singers needed an opportunity. Uh, a lot of the material of the monologues was about the way we were all feeling and the perspectives from these young singers were, were really poignant. And the funds we raised tonight help us to offer the widest range of programs to the widest age group in Metro West. It also allows us to provide much needed scholarships, free programs, and access to the arts for everyone. You know, when Kelly and I have a moment to step back and reflect on things, we are astounded by the incredible growth we have seen since we expanded and renovating in 2015. Last year, over 2,000 students came through our doors. 
People from over 300 cities and towns all over the U.S. came to UHCA for concerts, art shows, classes, and performances. And because of donations from many of you, the number of students aided through our program has grown a thousand percent. And to cap off the festivities, there was a dance party with a DJ. You can see the full gala at our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. And at last I see the light, and it's like the sky is new. Everything looks different now that I see you. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll relive some great memories in Hopkinton. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. Welcome back to HCAM News. This past fall, several Hiller athletes signed letters of intent to play at the collegiate level. Here's a look at the signing ceremony. All right, this works. All right, uh, family wants to get in? Hold on. Yeah, I'm Riley Del Ponte. I'm going to St. Bond Adventure for lacrosse. I play tech. And uh, what made you choose St. Bond Adventure? Love the coach. Uh, I love the camaraderie over there at St. Bond Adventure. Um, just personality wise, coach, I just love it. And um, what were your years like uh, being a Hiller? Did you enjoy uh, playing for Hopkinton? I loved playing for Hopkinton. I love Coach Norton. I'm excited to play as captain this year. Hopefully, we get a season this spring. Um, I'm just excited to learn from all the leaders in the past, and I'm excited to play this year. Terrific. And uh, what are you going to be studying over there? Business. Hopefully sales. All right. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You look at me, please. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know there's going to be so many instructions, yeah. did you? <laughs> We're all looking at you. Look at me, if you would. There's no social media, is that you? No, no that's not true. Nope. We all want to see it. Great, thank you. Uh, I'm Hope DeLuca. I run cross country and track and field, and I'm going to be going to the University of Vermont. Excellent. And uh, what made you choose Vermont? Um, I visited the campus uh, briefly over the summer, and it was just my favorite school, and the coach is really great, so I really look forward to going there. Terrific. What are you going to be studying there? Psychology. Excellent. And uh, what was it like uh, during your years with the Hillers? Um, it was a lot of fun. I 
have made the best friends on the cross country and track and field teams and um, I just have really loved my time with them. I'm Josh Fisher. Um, I play baseball and I'm going to Fairfield University. Excellent. What made you choose Fairfield? Um, I did a camp last February before COVID hit. And when I, when I first got into the campus, I absolutely loved it. The Field Alumni Stadium is absolutely gorgeous. And I absolutely loved Coach Courier, Coach Fay, and Coach Tabachman. They, all, they all welcomed all the kids there with open arms. And the facilities were absolutely breathtaking. And another factor was my principal, Mr. Bishop, um, who is a really great figure at our school. He also played baseball there, and that's also one of the reasons I wanted to play there, since he's a great figure who I look up to. Terrific, and what are you studying over there? Um, I am currently debating to either study computer science or politics. Both of those really intrigue me, and um, I'm going to decide soon, but I'm leaning toward computer science. Excellent. Uh, how are your years as a healer? Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just been absolutely amazing. Um, this, this school is absolutely amazing. It will always hold a special place in my heart. And I, I can't give enough thanks to Coach Simos and um, Miss King and Mr. Cormier for all they've done for all the students here. It's, um, they, they've, done, they've done an absolutely terrific job. Excellent. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Um, my name is Greta Field. I'm going to be running cross country and track and field at UMass Lowell next year. Excellent. What made you choose UMass Lowell? Um, I really like it. It's um, I like how it's two separate campuses. I feel like you. It makes me feel more independent going to each classes. Um, the coaches are super nice. My mom actually went there. Sorry. <laughs> she played basketball at University of Lowell. She was like the last um, University of Lowell and the next year it transferred to UMass Lowell and she really liked it. And um, so I, she was kind of pushing me to visit there and I visited and I really liked it. And again, the coaches um, were super nice. So I just decided to go there. Terrific. Uh, and what are you going to be studying? I'm going to be um, a nursing major at UMass Lowell. Wonderful, and uh, how were your years as a healer? They were really good, the cross country team. I actually, when I first came to high school, I wanted to play soccer, basketball, and softball. And I walked into the basketball meeting and I just, I didn't want to play basketball anymore. So I decided to join um, winter track and um, I really liked it. I did distance and then I just quit everything else and I just found all my best friends in cross country and had the best time. University of Florida, yeah, huh? in Gainesville. Uh-huh. Yes, it's a little, it's a little yes, warmer it there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Olivia Jones. I run cross country and track and I'm going to University of Florida. Terrific. What made you choose the University of Florida? Um, I think it's a combination of, it's a great sports school, the coach is amazing, Chris Zielinski, he used to have a national record in the 10K, so he's really fast, and they have really good academics, and I just wanted to go to a big school with an awesome sports atmosphere. Excellent, what are you studying over there? Uh, I want to major in biology or chemistry, and then hopefully be part of their accelerated dental program and go to dental school there. Wonderful, and uh, how were your years as a healer? They were awesome. They were so fun, and I'm going to miss it so much. One of the many great traditions at Hopkinton High School is the annual Seniors Halloween Costume Contest. This year, they had to host it outside due to the pandemic, but as per the usual, there were some great costumes on display, and a good time was had by all. A little delayed. Might need better hearing technology. Fans. Hey fans, wave. Where are fans? Wow, so enthusiastic. Who's a fan?
You are all very ugly. It's not the person you're looking Especially Red. <laughs> it's very suspicious. Red's walking on the field right now. Yes, Brian, I see you.
I hate you so much. <laughs> you missed Watson. You had one shot and you blew it. Just like everything else in your life. Because you're I would put Aiden Rowell in the lead of anything. It's beyond me, but here we are. But here we go. Let's let's announce the winners. Okay, the best overall single um, group with many many good opportunities is our distance learning. Very good, very good. Congratulations. I give a round of applause. Clap your hands if you can still feel them. Best small group under under five people is our wonderful jolly ranchers very good there congratulations are you still here okay cool best overall large group one of the most entertaining seasons i've seen of the bachelor most original single duo is Great duo of Maverick and Goose. Congratulations. And the most original small group under five people is our wonderful miners of gold, the gold diggers on the back of the track. Please wave, gold diggers. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Nice, nice jackets. Most original large group are those uh, monarchs of the uh, dairy, the dairy queens. Congratulations. Scariest group out here, really good, is Purge election year. How fitting. The most engaging, which is very odd, is the insurance advertisers. Don't know how they won as insurance advertisers, but excellent costumes. Funniest group out there are those septuagenarians falling in front of me all of the time. Our life alert, really good group there, and they're falling once again. They can't get up. Very sad. Okay, thank you so much. Here's what we're gonna do: the Harry Potter crew. You're gonna start us off. Leading is this group is Eden Rowell, Harry Potter, and the other mythical idiots of Hogwarts. As you're heading down the hill. Followed closely by our guacamole group and our NASA space agents. Taking a look at upcoming government meetings in Hopkinton on Monday, January 4th at 7 p.m. You can catch the planning board meeting airing live on HCAM TV. And also on Monday, January 4th at 7 p.m. over on HCAM Ed, you can catch the school committee meeting. And for further information about all the town government meetings, you can head over to HopkintonMA.gov. Well, believe it or not, we are just about out of time on this special edition of HCAM News Live. For everyone at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us. Happy New Year, everybody. We hope you had great holidays, and we will talk to you again soon. Take care. Uh -huh.